Sports Homebrew coming at you with a beer review. Today I've got a beer that comes from a dear friend of mine, SJ Poor. And uh, fate will bring us back together again, my friend. That I'm certain of. He sent a beautiful beer my way. I'm kind of excited about it. It's from South County Brewing Company. It is called Virgil. It's an imperial dark ale aged in bourbon barrels. And uh, they describe this as double Dutch. So if you're from the PA area, you know what that means. <laughs> it's an American strong ale at 12.9% ABV. Oh, he knows what I like. <laughs> so uh, we're going to get this one cracked open. All right, here we go. Nice bubbles rising up. We've got a finger head on there. It's uh, a nice khaki color, basically. And this is just black. I, I see nothing through it. And it's not brown, it is just black. Let's get the nose. Nice, it's very rich. What it 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 smells to me almost like a super ultra rich brown ale almost at first. Yeah, it reminds me a little bit of some of these uh, uh, really rich brown ales that have been bourbon barrel aged. But it's a little darker than that. It's still pretty cold, so it's going to have to warm up quite a bit. Um, but you do get like a, a nice vanilla notes on there. And uh, some light, nice roast. Well, I shouldn't say light. It's a dark roast. Uh, it's not heavy in the nose. Uh, you get some like toasted uh, oats in there, or, or I should say toasted grains in there. Now the dark chocolate's starting to pull in as it, it's warmed up just that little bit. Yeah, very nice. Bourbon, vanilla, a little bit of oakiness, those toasted malts, a little bit of dark fruit hints, and uh, a little bit of dark chocolate. Sounds great. I'm going to jump in. Cheers. Whoa, baby. Man, <coughs> the nose might have been light, but the taste is not. It's far from. <laughs> Bam! In your face. This is good, but man, it's rich. Uh, big bourbon kick, and it's it's not like burning at all. There's no burning, but the flavor, it's just this really strong flavor. You really get the bourbon. You really, really get that oak, which uh, I'm digging on this. Uh, man, that nice roasted malts, they're very rich, more espresso-like in character. There's the sweetness, it's interesting. The mouthfeel on it, it's a medium mouthfeel, but the richness and flavor is bazinga. I mean, it's something else. Wow, this is... <laughs> Christian should have shown up today, that's all I have to say about that. I would have loved this. So... You get some of the vanilla on there. You get some of that dark chocolate. You get, uh, you know, the roast. You, you get hints of, of the dark fruits. You get, uh, like, raisin on it. Yeah, raisin, maybe a, a hint of plum, actually. A light bit of tobacco and leather coming in. Tobacco particularly. But, man, just a little bit of astringency off the oak, but... It's very light. Wow. Okay, I got to take a little time with this. This is this is pretty killer. This is pretty good. I am just loving this. <laughs> All right, I want to give you a few more characteristics of it. At times, you get this beautiful espresso coming through. Just really nice. You get a little bit of molasses, a little bit of sorghum, which is a little bit different from molasses, very close. You get dark caramel. I mean, a dark, chewy caramel on there. Um, and it has this really nice sweetness, but it's really balanced out with a little bit of this char and, and roasted malts. Uh, and whatever they did to hop this. Uh, because it's pretty well balanced. But it's like, it's like super sweet and not at the same time. It, I, this very hard to describe. Uh, it's sweet, but then it, it balances out with the other thing. And at times, I get a little bit of this like 
campfire roastiness on it too. So like like a light smokiness along with that char and then back to the booze, man. You know, my goodness. A lot of beautiful bourbon character on that. And I, man, I'm guessing American oak uh, for sure with this. Wow, very, very tasty. So I'm going to rate this as a dark ale because that's what they call it, an imperial dark ale. And for me, that's exactly the category that it's in. It's like a black ale. Uh, that's the taste. It, it follows all of that character. This rates really really highly with me for the style I'm it's just blasting good for that style I don't find there's a lot of dark ales that are you know they're very good but not killer this is killer for the style I'm giving this a freaking 97 I'm saying for dark ale this is a world-class beer overall I'm gonna drop it down some uh, for the average uh, beer drinker this is gonna be a little too boozy maybe a little bit too sweet maybe a little bit too much charred smokiness not for me <laughs> it's an excellent beer this this is dang good this is this is a beauty I, I'm, I'm going to sip this all night I can and will this is a 95 overall here it is I think it's a pretty recent beer I think if you're in PA at least you should be able to find this I'd be I'd be hunting this down uh, if you like big old boozy beers, man, hunt this sucker down. Just do it. It's the Virgil. It's an imperial dark ale aged in bourbon barrels from South County Brewing Company out of Thon Grove, PA. Have you got all that? <laughs> this is Kevin at Clements Home Brew saying, life's too short to drink cheap beer. Sometimes you get lucky and friends send you a killer one. And I'll see you in the next beer review. Cheers.